Hello everybody, my name is Jacob, and welcome back to Indica. Um, once again, a funny situation, um, kind of like something I was recording, uh, the other day, that you don't know what it is yet, you haven't gotten to see that yet, so shh. But basically, since this is the finale, since I know for a fact this is gonna be the finale, don't really need to even set a timer for myself to see how long the episode's gonna be, or to hit a certain point on the episode. Which I find funny, but still, it is amusing to me. So how do I... Do I click? Oh. Okay, the game froze for a second. I don't know why I thought that was going to work, I'll be honest with you. Oh, great, there's more frogs. Where... Oh, my God. Now we've got to move real fast. Wait, what? Okay. I... Wait, but I'm moving as fast as I can. I think it might just take a bit of trial and error for everyone. Okay, now it feels like I'm almost pushing the key in time to the music. Okay. What's the best course of action here? We go over, then we go over and down. Okay. The, with the pattern and everything in the music, it's making me have to focus on this way more than I otherwise would. Jesus, how many? Okay, this is the last one. Okay. I feel like at some point, like, the I started hopping. Rude! Oh, he hopped in too. Okay, I was going to say, if he just pushed me in the water just because, rude. Um, I feel like I was hopping on some of those frogs earlier than they were supposed to be able to let me hop on. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee. Matthew 5.30. What are we doing again? Oh. Oh, that's right. We were cutting off his arm. And we don't even know if that worked or not. Indica? Oh. I didn't know you smoked. Quiet. Quiet. It's all good. It's all good. Shh. Yeah, don't freak out about your lack of an arm. Lie down. Shush. Shush. Everything's gonna be all right. Otherwise, you wouldn't have survived. It's against God's plan. He went against God. <laughs> against God, not in the slightest. This is not that bad. Please be, be still. You would have died please. otherwise. Not, not that bad, huh? Would it go back? <laughs> Why not? It's not like it's harder for God to work one miracle than. Miracle. <laughs> You didn't, you didn't believe in it from the start. Dude. You were angry that a miracle could happen to me. No. To, to a person like me. No. no. It's, it's dumb and jealous. Give me an injection. None left. Oh, this, this time, this, this wasn't just... Empty talk. I know. All this philosophy. Joyce, <laughs> God. God doesn't talk to me anymore. Well, guys turn into such dicks when you cut their arms off. No. Leave me. Oh, oh my own. I'm Don't sorry. Touch me. You know, for somebody who just got his arm cut off without any anesthesia, you're doing pretty alright for yourself, I gotta say. I 
All right, thanks. Bye. You're just gonna leave me in this fish factory, huh? You're just gonna leave me in here? I guess he's just gonna leave me in here. Or no, now we're in a... Oh, no, we are still in the fish factory. Um, what's the button for flashlight? Hold on. Wait, matches? I have matches? Oh, I have the... Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff. Oh, wait, can I see? Okay, it doesn't actually say what the letter is. Um, lamp says it's F. Can I not? For the first time since can't light the lamp right now. Indica felt a stab of doubt. Really? Why? I wonder. What if she had done something wrong? What if the Kudets wouldn't work? Why was every step on her road to God drawing her closer to the devil? I did everything correctly. You did. Otherwise you were just trying to help. Exactly. You were just trying to help. And if he didn't? There. He's healed. A miracle. Wouldn't feel good, would it? No. That means he was indeed talking to God and earned his absolution. God, please. Talk to me this one time. What if, Indica, what if you were sent from God? How did I go against you? In order to help him. What if that's why you were here? Is it to intervene in your design? Is this a part of your plan? Is this how it's supposed to be? It will be alright. What kind of here. fucking fish factory is this it where they need this many packages and this many elevators going every which way? Like, good lord. So now I have to feel guilt for this as well? You can see I'm trying. Yes, of course you can see you're shoulder. trying. Me again. You were driven by fear. The fear of ending up with a corpse. And back then, with the gypsy, what was it? Were you restless because of his tanned arms? Oh, Jesus. Let's not get into that. Alright, which door, I wonder? Let's try the door on the right. Stanley walked through the door on his right. Oh, put your back into it, Indica. Come on. A lot of interesting questions and thoughts. Okay. Did the... Okay, the lights fully just turned off and then turned back on on their own. That wasn't even my lamp. Interesting. Now, Indica, you gotta think to yourself... You helped him survive. Who's to say that you coming and helping him wasn't God's plan? Okay. What if I... Okay. And then can I climb up this one? Yep. Okay. Now what, though? Go around this way yep we just keep climbing up I guess I'm assuming this is the way out or will eventually become a way out silly Jacob this won't eventually become a way out this is indica a way out is a completely different game um Uh, is this the wrong way to go? Because I can't climb stuff like that. So I think this was the wrong way to go. Maybe. Where else would there be to go? Guess I can keep raising that up higher and higher. Oh. What about this way? Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Do just keep, we do just keep going up higher and higher. 
but I gotta find the right path to go higher and higher. Okay. And then up one more. Okay. What's around here? Anything? Nothing. Oh, I see that. That's around there. I see what I've got to do. Okay, good thing that didn't kill anybody. Um, oh shit, I... I fucked up the puzzle, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to push it in here. Well, no, these doors wouldn't have fitted either. Um, then what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Do I push it over the edge? Like, further, further over the edge? There's nowhere to do that. Oh, no, never mind. I, I am truly an idiot. I am truly an idiot. I use it to now climb up on this side so that I can raise that up. Okay. Yes? Now what? Oh. I just can't see because the freaking lighting. Oop. Sorry, don't want you to do that. Because I want to walk across, see what's out here. And we are free, free from the fish factory. The Hallelujah, of literally. The one from the poster was towering over Indica. She was consumed. Is it that or anxiety? that? More I'm assuming that, more. if it's a towering. What if she was late? What if they realized who she was and wouldn't let her in? What if she was not worthy of a miracle? How would they Maybe realize who she is? To see the miracle, oh. and all the tickets had sold out. What if her certainty in God's Rude. was just another delusion, a temptation she so faint-heartedly succumbed to? Is this where Ilya came up? Oh, I guess that's not activatable right now. Anybody know where to get a ticket from or how to get a ticket? Hello. Oh, it's another. S okay. Knock, knock. The life of St. Jonah. In his first years as a monk, the reclusive St. Jonah lived with Optitus, a shrewd old man known for tempting his brothers and trying their patience. Jonah was no exception. In the morning... Opatus would hide under a branch and jump at him, screaming. In the refectory, he would yell and hurl dead flies and soot from the furnace into Jonah's food. When Jonah was praying, Opatus would shriek and slap the prayer book from his hands. And before going to bed, Opatus would scream and hit Jonah in the stomach with a hot firebrand. Why was this dude living in the refectory at this point? Like, good lord. At what point do you not just go, Hey guys, maybe this dude ain't it. Like, I'm all for second chances and stuff, but like, at what point do you just go, This dude ain't it. Um. Do I, okay, I guess I ignore that? Feels like there might be a puzzle that way. Bastu, Bastu, right, possibly left. Pavel Sergia, Indigo's father, called his servants bastards because of their best shoes. Because of their bast shoes, emphasizing the cultural gap between himself and the uneducated peasantry. The latter, however, refused to notice the gap, especially if they had a chance to have a drink with the former. So that, that's confirming actually something interesting. Indica is is comes from wealth. At least to some degree.
because um, otherwise, why would her father have thought or acted like that? I mean, he straight up called them peasants. So if they're if he's not from wealth, why would they do that? Or if she's not from wealth, why would they do that? Well, am I just supposed to do this? Why do I feel like I'm just supposed to do this? Oh, once again, I failed to notice the most obvious solution literally directly in front of me. And I even up above was like, hmm, there's a window with a lantern in it. I wonder if there's a way to get through that window. That's what I thought to myself mentally, you know, like in my brain. I feel like it's almost showing me a lot of puzzles that could be solved with two people, but because I don't have Ilya anymore. Samovar, Last Supper, how corny. Um, but because I don't have Ilya anymore, it's almost rubbing it in my face. It's like, yeah, man, don't you wish you had multiple people? I guess that. Okay, never mind then. I was going to say, that seemed like it might be too easy. Is that... Hold on. Is that how I was supposed to move that platform? I can't really tell. But going higher seems... I can't go lower. But going up higher doesn't seem correct either. Let me try it as low as possible. We'll see what happens. I do find it funny that in order to prevent you from breaking the game, a lot of boxes you clearly should be able to climb up and over based on the height of what we know she can climb up and over. The game's like, no, we, we, we actually can't let you do that. We actually can't let you climb up over that one. That's where that currently landed. Um, hmm. Oh, wait, hold on. I might fast forward past me stumbling around and trying to figure out what this puzzle is, if for no other reason than just the fact that I'll, I just have to do a lot of back and forth and back and forth, but did I completely miss something really obvious? I think I did because there were two levers that she grabbed at the little command, like the controls thing, which makes me think that I did miss something pretty obvious. Yep, yep, I did. Wow, boy, do I feel like a dumbass. Boy, do I feel like a real dumbass. And there I was running back and forth like 50 times. Which way do I go? When I... Give it back. The game figured it out for me. Now, why would you take that? Also, the hand sticking out of your bag is quite the sight. To her hair. What do you mean what happened to her hair? Did you just casually come from this way, dude? Pereskov Friday. Holy martyr Pereskova. Pray to God for us. Hey, I leveled up. Um, ooh, do I want more points when I'm shameful or do I want more points right now? I think I'll get more points when I'm shameful. Ooh. I wonder if I'll get to my final level of shame before the game ends. What a fucking bizarre concept. You don't like it. The prioress cut it as punishment. It wasn't a big deal. 
It's punishment for Our what? Father Sergei's Felonian. Uh, okay. It's Felonian. What's a Felonian? You want to boost me up over the gate? Or are you going to just sort of break in again? I guess we're sort of breaking in again. Wow, he's gone right away. Wow, he's gone right away. There is a way that seems straight to a man, but its end is the way to death. Proverbs 14, 12. Um, Ilya? Um! Um! What the f- wh Uh... It moves when I move. Also, that's the wall. St hold on. What? What just happened? What? Is, what is currently happening? We just jumped to this. So extreme right away. What the fucking fuck? Um, am I supposed to jump into the fire? Oh. <laughs> no surprises there. No, no, no. Big surprise there, actually. Big surprise there. We just not going to address that? The big monster looking man? We're just fully not going to address that, huh? Okay, then. Oh. Duh, I'm an idiot. Wait, what? Oh. I see. No, I don't. Um. I grab this. And move it. Here. To prevent... Uh, okay, not that way. I'll just- I'll just climb up then. Uh... No, he's right there. What the hell is going on? Okay, so I need to move it... Uh... Over by the pipes. To... To there? So I can climb up it. Okay, so so yes, but to there. I'm fully at this point expecting. Okay, not to there. I guess. Am I just supposed to be? Using it to continue to climb through? I can't tell. Okay, there... Uh, um... What the fuck is going on? My... Oh my god, my brain is hurting. My brain is turning to mush right now. Am I supposed to move it over this way? But that's not gonna work, because if I do that... If I move back in here, and it's all the way up there... What the fuck is going on? One week later... Oh, oh, okay. Okay, um, is there, there's just no explanation for that, is there? What? Please let a little person pop out of your mouth again. Please, come on, I'm begging you. Am I high right now? Is that what it is? And I just don't know, because I've never been. 
Oh, I saw you make a little eyes at me at that moment. I can whistle too. <whistles> Cathedral of John of Dam Damascus. This is where we were trying to go the whole time, yes? Or am I confusing this with the place he wanted to go? Could be genuinely either one. What a fucking bizarre Look, thing that just happened. From the poster. Okay, so it's where he wants to go. Pretty handy with only one hand, I gotta say. And that, there, there was genuinely no pun intended there. Genuinely so. Why does it look like your hand is still active? Like it's waving at me or grabbing at me or something? Any goodies? Or is this a place for later? Oh, okay. Did I get some points for that? Make some points? No points. Interesting. Oh, is it because it's not a religious candle? I'm just lighting a candle for a normal memorial, not a religious memorial. I did not What's see this? that. What? The tavern you were talking about. There it is, below. Did yeah. you did you not know it was there, dude? By the way, see the pawn shop opposite the tavern? Its owner is Naam Pat. Ephraim's brother. Interesting. They've always hated each other and yet depended on each other. Nam was buying stolen stuff from the vagrants, who would then go to Ephraim to spend the money on shitty wine and whores. Hey, sounds like a pretty good business plan and if you ask me. Would often end up in Nam's shop. Ephraim's spoons. I love that idea. Because each of them thinks that the other brother is richer. Soon you'll be able to play a concert there again. Yeah, I don't, I don't know yes. about that. You did chop off his arm, so I don't know how much instrument playing is going to happen. Also, I love the idea of, like, people going to a pawn shop to sell the spoons from the, from the restaurant slash bar right across the street. Not only because it was literally right across the street, but because they know that they are brothers who know each other. And I'm just imagining that, like, is this another one of my fucking brother's spoons? Did you really bring me another one of my brother's restaurant's spoons? Really? They'd just be like, oh, what you talking about, man? This, this, those are my spoons. Yeah, that hand, part of me wants to say it's just from him, like, the inertia and gravity from him walking around. But another part of me, given the rest of this game, feels like maybe Shit, that hand is finished. still alive and talking to me. Or, well, not talking to me, but moving around. Down. Oh. I see. Well, that was a mistake. Bring it back, please. Up. Wait, can I just do this on command? Get me down. 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 Up. Down. 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 Okay, that's we've had our fun. That was just very absurd, that's all. Oh, there's a big claw. Please let me pick him up with the big claw, like in a fucking odd world game. Or like Toy Story. Hello? Who are you? Okay, I guess you're nobody. You won't even say a word to me. Lift and lower the hook. Rotate the hook. Okay. Rotate the crane. Rotate the crane to where? is supposed to make like a bridge I don't get it you gotta be shitting me right now yeah that's how physics and logic work yeah sure 
That's how that works. Oh, wait. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Ho hold on. Hold on just for just one second. Sorry about that. Hold on. Sorry. Wrong bridge. This one's a bit too low. Get, ho hold on. Just one second. Just one second, guys. Pay no attention to me. I'm just a nun who is fucking excavating your entire, like, walkways and bridgeways and such. This is so absurd. Now, this one, I think, might work a little bit better. Because, you know, it's taller. So this one would probably fit a little bit better. Nope, they're both about the same height. Well, sorry about that, guys. I, I did not realize that. Didn't realize that. Am I supposed to put them on top of each other? I don't get it. Can I just fall down? Indica, no! <laughs> How depressing. That is the best death we've encountered thus far. That's perfect. Okay. Down. Nope, ah. come on back. Down. So... What is the solution here? Do I... Am I supposed to stack... No. No, hold on. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way, right? Nope. That seems a bit absurd. What about like this? No, that also still seems pretty absurd. Okay, this is definitely not how I pictured this going. So what if I grabbed it and then rotated it? Like this? So is this one actually taller? Because this one looks taller from here. But maybe I'm wrong. Oh, wait. Hold on. I figured it out. It's going to take me a second, but I believe I figured it out. Okay. Lift you. We're going to rotate you once. And bring you all the way back over here. Okay, now lower. Now, go back over to this one. Grab it. Move it back. If this is the actual solution, I'm gonna go a little bit insane, I think, at the pure absurdity of it. I think it is the real solution, though. I'm not even joking. And then, because this one's got the big, like, single archway in the middle, I bet if I lowered it onto this, we would get... Whoops. Yep! That's what I thought! God, that is... So absurd. Down. Up. Okay, that's not the direction I just said, but whatever. I, as long as I'm moving the correct way, it doesn't matter what I said. See, look at that. I did it. I'm going to get some fines from the city for that one.
Uh, is this the way to go? I think so. I hope so. Because it's the way I am going. Okay, he's following me. I was going to say, Ilya, as much as I would love to continue your story, you did sort of abandon right. me in the fish factory. And therefore, not as fond of you as I was. For truly I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Matthew seventeen twenty. Yeah, move your move your mountain around. Go ahead and do that. I'm sure it'll work out well for you. Where's the cadet? It's over. Been too long already. Last day the 23rd. Today, the cadets will be taken further. You'll be able to find it in the lips. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but it's, yeah, I was going to say, it's Please, still here. If you only knew what we've been through. People showed up from other countries. Everyone who wanted to was already venerated. Listen. Oh, venerated again. Let me see the miracle. I'm dead. Literally dead. Oh. And he, I can be honest with you, right? Can I confess to you? Sure. He escaped from prison to commune with America. What do you mean? Oh no! Don't tell him that! Don't tell him that! Oh, fine. We'll no, he's gonna go get the. He's gonna go get the cops. He's gonna go get the Poe. I don't like this. Yeah. Ex yeah. Don't worry. The priest will never break the seal of confession. He's had worse. Trust me. Yeah, the hand is straight up moving. The hand is straight up moving. This way. Right. Yep, I knew it! What did he tell Told me? you so. No, no, we, we were just joking around. He has a knife, don't come closer. No, he only has one arm. No way, he's got a knife. He'll stab me! Step aside. Oh, oh my god! Well, Indica, I hope you feel good about Shoot yourself. Him. Did they shoot the priest? Oh my god, Indica? Indica, you got a priest shot. Oh my lord. Indica. If ever there was a point for you to come in and pray, now would be the time. Indica, where are you going? Where are you going, Indica? Thank you. Come, come, come here, help me. What do you mean, hold come it, there and. Like that, hold it. Don't hold it. Come out with your hands up. No, you can. I'm gonna count to three. Now, Ilya, you're you're. One, do you really think this is gonna work? This is only ground. Yeah, and a priest has already been shot today. So let's maybe not shoot anybody else in the church. Now, Ilya, what did you think was gonna happen? Be honest. Usually people show up about their legs. And? They grow back. It's not about that. Yep. You see, if the Lord allowed... Three. Oh, uh... Uh, I Ilya? Enough. Let it go. Uh, Ilya? What you doing there, man? What you got there? You, 
you, you are you threatening to smack Indica across the face with an arm? With your own arm? Whoa! Oh, Lord. Oh, Indica. Oh, are we going to learn why she was actually sent to the monastery now? Also, would that be considered an unarmed attack or an unarmed attack? That's a little D&D &D joke for you guys. Oh, my God. What have we done? We can't see each other anymore. Why not? I'm getting married. What? This isn't my decision. What can I do? Run away with me. To wander around with a gypsy tribe? No, just the two of us. We'll go to the city. And how will we earn a living? We'll get by. I'll get a job. But for starters, do you know where your father keeps the key to his register? Yeah, that's it. Hey, don't worry, babe. We'll totally get a job when we uh, run away together to the city. By the way, what's the code to your dad's safe? No. What? Stealing from my father? Why stealing? He wouldn't withhold money from his own daughter, right? He only runs his store for your sake. I have my own key to the register. My father trusts me, but I would never. I'll do everything myself. Just give me the key. Maybe we shouldn't. Oh, no, he's already going. He's already on his way. Wow, the, I'm not doing anything. So that's who steals our brakes. Shit. Oh! Oh my god, are you for real? Fucking Russian Pac-Man happening right now. Just avoid the red- god damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god! He's like honing in on me. Okay, well that fully didn't work. Is there a way to succeed in this, actually? Because this feels kind of insane. Oh, hold on. Maybe I have to keep closer to him? God damn it. God damn it, there's no- Oh my lord! Oh my god! Old man, just let- I'm trying to leave with your daughter. Just- just get- let me have the money, please. Just let me have the money, please. Oh, wait, if we're close enough, he doesn't throw it at me. Huh? Nice try, old man. You will not leave. Indica, what are you doing here? Do you know him? I... don't. Hey, sure you don't know him? No. Indica? Stay away from her. He seems to know you. I don't know him! Oh! Oh my lord! Oh my god! Talk about sawed in half! Jesus. Wait, is this... Am I Indica? Oh! Oh my god. I'm Indica. I don't have my hood on anymore. Ever heard of Makar, the Scytheman? No. There was a lot about him in the papers, but only after he was hanged. Okay. Kids lost their heads because of his side. Oh well, my god. Yeah, what did you what did you think he did with the scythe, huh? No, I think Makar is something of a saint. Huh? Listen. Let me tell you. Why? How? Makar had three kids. All of them boys. Okay. One day he, he dropped something on his youngest. Oh. Wagon or a oh my or Oh my god. It was so bad that the poor boy stopped feeling his legs. Couldn't sleep at night. Lay there all day crying from pain. The village doctor couldn't do anything. So 
Maka couldn't take it anymore. He went to the priest and said, Bless me, Father, to end the child's suffering. Well, the priest didn't bless him, of course. Yeah, no kidding. He sent him home to pray and think about the salvation of his soul. Maka prayed for a week, but the son wouldn't stop screaming. So, is it Mac just snapped, took the cover off his side, said a prayer. Illy is gone. And, suffering with a single sweep. and then did his brother he see? Went back to the priest and said, it's done, father. I don't have a soul anymore. And I lost my right to think about salvation back when I dropped that wardrobe on my son. I mean, or was it a wagon? Dude, the door's not open. Better Dick. Tell me where he is now, in hell or in heaven. The priest said, in heaven, of course. He didn't get to sin. Yeah, he was a child. Yeah, in a way, you gave him a gift. Yeah. Him straight to the kingdom of heaven without any earthly suffering. Oh, yeah, no earthly suffering. Just two busted legs. So he went home. No. No. I know where this is going. And chop their heads off. Oh my god. But after that, he went completely insane and started hunting down his neighbor's kids. Managed to kill four of them before he got caught. Because he got obsessed with what Why the priest said about Think of it suffering. Way. No earthly suffering. Some martyr gets burned at the stake because of Christ. Does it mean he buys himself eternal life for ten minutes of suffering? Hmm? Can we call this a real sacrifice? Makar is a different story. To save someone else's soul, he sacrificed his own. That's such a messed Why up way to think you... about it. Father Proc, the one you killed. Uh, I didn't do jack shit. I didn't kill anybody. An innocent victim, a martyr. Maybe he'll even be canonized. Once again, what door ain't even open yet. What about him? He got angry. Oh. I'm moving quite literally as fast as I can. And what will happen to you? You'll get hanged, I guess. Listen. What's your name? It doesn't matter. Need something? Doesn't matter indeed. Listen, we didn't kill Father Buckle. Let me go. Don't take your conscience with sin. Yeah, nice try, Indica. I'll repay you. Repay him with what? And what exactly can you repay me with? Well, what do you want? What do I want? Come closer. Oh no. Oh, oh, I don't like this at all. Turn around. Oh. Turn around. Oh, what are, what? Now sing. Now sing? I don't know. Something, French anthem. I thought for a second we were going to have a little, like, 8-bit well, sex mini-game, you know. which I wouldn't put it past this game. Huh? You're just letting her out all already? Oh, come on. Come on, silly. Don't be afraid. I'm not scared. Come on. Come on, on. What the f- Ooh, Uh... What the fuck? I'm losing all of my points, I just realized. I guess I can't do anything worse than that. 
What is that thing that's... It's so easy to step over everything you believe in. Step where? Somewhere. Onto your side. Oh my side god, what the hell is that? Are you going to argue again? That there are no sides. That there's neither good nor evil. Well, you can try. Convince me that I haven't done anything bad. Or can you not even do that now? Bad? What does that word mean? Is that the devil? Is that the that was the thing that I was like pushing with the with the cart thing oh, in the like mirror world still, level thingy? What exactly does that word mean? Bad. Sinful. Of the devil. Oh yeah, and don't do talk to him about the devil. The devil and what is not. There are commandments. So we're checking against a formal list of regulations. No, everything is really obvious. It's evil. Dishonest, unfair. Evil? There's not a drop of evil in despondency, avarice, or bawdry. Dishonest? A dog is honest. It eats when it's hungry, bites when it's scared, copulates when there's someone to do it with. Well, you remember. I'm talking about intentional dishonesty for one What the game. fuck does that thing so, even pretending to look your like? whole life that you don't want something you want. That you don't feel something you feel for eternal life in heaven. Doesn't that fit perfectly with your definition? What else did you say? Unfair. You know what just occurred to me? Is it fair that one tree has a thousand leaves I, and another I two clearly thousand? didn't find everything. Is it fair when two people throw the dice, one gets a six and the other gets a two? I wonder course, if the only way to see this full cutscene is if I got everything. Because like when those points end, we angrily call it unfair. The cutscene ends. But I if wonder. You forget your emotions. It turns out, strictly speaking, this word can't be applied to anything. What about what's happening now? What can be more revolting? Disgusting, vile. I don't need any deliberations. I know it. I feel it when you're yeah, cold. Yeah, I wonder you what's happening. You just feel it. You know that you're cold. Do you understand that there is no cold without warmth? You can't get rid of poverty and suffering, leaving only wealth and happiness. Leave me alone. Oh, I'd love to. But I will only disappear when you stop wanting me to. It's not that hard. Stop wanting to Just remember to that good and evil, warm and cold, and he those will. are just lines on a thermometer. God and the devil, those are you. One cannot exist without the other. What the fuck is this game? Is this the end? Is that it? Is that it? Okay. Yeah, that's what I assumed. That's what I assumed was happening. No, you can't. What the fuck? I tell you what. Be not earthly justice for that of heaven. What, uh... Oh! When the soul is separated from the... Oh! Ah, stop right there, you bitch! Oh, stop! My hand! I My didn't hand. do anything! Ah. I didn't do anything. You can't blame me for that. Stop! Stop right there, you bitch! Should have killed him. Should have killed him. And I mean the demon should have killed him, not Indica. Is this first person now? It's first person now. What? Oh, excuse me. Can I go this way? This is definitely not how I thought this was going to end. I'm living in poverty. I can't show my face anywhere again. Like, can't go back to the monastery. This just proves everything they already thought. Oh, D I. Hi. Where is the cadets? One second. Wait, what? You're alive? Oh. 
Did I undo my trousers? Where is the cadets? How are you alive? Uh, I thought they said you were hung. Or maybe that was the guy that actually shot the priest they was hung. didn't even give me five rubles for it. What? What? Give me the money. I don't have any. It's gone. You know, I've already conquered the guitar, but the, the brass, the pipes. You fucking sold it. I'm gonna take that brass and beat you over your ass with it, is what I'm gonna do. We also just suddenly dropped to 30 frames, and I don't know why. Oh, the pawn shop! That's right! Hi, Where's dude. The cadets? Hmm, never heard of it. Okay, just dick. exchanged it for a trumpet. A, a man with one arm? Oh, you are extremely lucky. This is exactly what you're looking for. An amazing artifact of unspeakable wondrous power. Just 25 rubles. Yeah. What do you mean 25? You got it for five. Mm. 20 for everything. One whoa, second, whoa, whoa. I just need to have a look. You can look, but, but don't touch. Well, I mean, what? you're not... What did you sell me, you scumbag? Oh, damn. Um, oh, no. Look, it, it doesn't even fucking you work. puke in here or something. I mean, he might have. What? Well, oh, that's me in the mirror. Get your ass out of here. I'm a demon. I see myself as a demon. Just keep doing it over and over. Also, I love that finally at the end of the game, the game actually recognized my controller plugged in. That was why the X popped up at first and not the mouse click. Are we just doing this over and over? Until I finally... S nope, I'm still... Is this what the game is trying to say? I'm just gonna be this way forever? What, uh... What the f... Uh... Oh, repentance? Oh, right, uh... N now what? Do... Uh, oh, oh, I just keep, uh, oh, close. Do I? Salvation! Give me all the points to salvation! Is this going to keep going for as many points as I lost, or can I just keep going forever and ever and ever? How many points can I get? Can I make it to 10,000? We're already halfway there. This is what religion is about, folks. This is what religion's about. Didn't you know? Hadn't you guessed by now? I bet I'd get a Steam achievement for this if I wasn't playing on GOG. Wow, I leveled up so much. This is going to take forever. Um... Boy, this is interesting, isn't it? Oh, this is... Actually, I regret doing this. This is going to take me forever. I know they start multiplying eventually. Um, I'm just going to keep clicking random ones. That's fine. I don't care. I'm pretty sure the game is, like, over. What the fuck else even would there be at this point? So I can't imagine I'm going to get much use out of these. Besides, now we're here. At least it's not spending... So that is actually interesting on a game design level. It's not spending the points. 
but instead it's like... Um... Oh, well, hold on. I was gonna say, we hadn't leveled up yet. 15-1-4. There we go. I wonder if there is a maximum level. I'm curious now. I, I have to look. I'm going to Google it because I'm curious. Okay, it doesn't look like there's a maximum level. All right, let's leave now. Leave the leave the kudits, or take it with you, I guess, or smash it. It's empty. It's hollow. It's empty. There's nothing in it. Well, if that ain't uh. Oh, yeah. If that ain't a metaphor for what's been happening for the past couple hours, I don't know what is. I'm so sorry, Indica. I'm so, so sorry. I feel so immeasurably, immeasurably bad for her. Oh, she broke her rosary beads. Are we ever... Was that the sound of the letter rustling? I can't move right now, so I, I thought maybe I would go through the back door and see what was back there, but... God, what a fucking depressing ending, huh? What a downer. Is that it? Okay, so definitely a unique game on pretty much all fronts. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. Um, I really, really enjoyed the... I really, really enjoyed the adventure it took us on number one because i like indica as a character number two because it just had such a trippy feel to it that even when things were normal and there wasn't anything like particularly weird going on it still felt like what's going on here what's happening um and that lent it a sense of identity which i think is really really cool um and really really i don't know it, it just i don't know I, I, I don't know, because, like, I don't know. It, it, it's just such an interesting game that I'm just sort of sitting here thinking about. I don't think I've seen, because there have been games that touch on religious themes, but they've either been pure or at least in my experience they've either been you uh using it purely to um satirize in a like monty python-esque way or as an excuse for like biblical-esque levels of violence or adventure like something like dante's inferno or god of war um this takes such a serious approach to it even when it is very clearly operating outside the realms of reality with stuff like the prayer mechanic and like her demon friend and like that stuff it's still operating with a level of seriousness it's that sort of idea of like things might be fantastical but the game is taking itself and its characters extremely seriously even if the things happening within it you're like what the hell um and that's something that's always fascinated me about 
I'm always fascinated when a work does that, when the work itself is extremely absurd or, or, or unrealistic, but it's taking itself seriously for the authenticity of the adventure and the story and the characters. Um, and I just find that really, really interesting, really, really fascinating, really, really cool. Um, when a story does do that. I don't really have much else to say, honestly. Um, I really liked it. I really liked the adventure. Um, can't really ever see myself playing it again, because even if there is a platinum, that doesn't really feel like it's the, the point. Um, and I also really, really liked the actress. I saw her name like a second ago, but I, I did not read it out loud or process it. So I want to say it again. Um, that's not it. I want the English. Isabel, Isabella Inchbald. Um, doesn't look like she's been in a lot of other major stuff. Looks like the only other biggest thing that I can see is the game As Dusk Falls. She was, who did she play in that? Deputy. Or was she not even a major character in that? Might not have been. Oh, it doesn't even list the character's full name. Deputy Coburn and a bunch of other voices um, but she was fantastic I really really enjoyed her performance it it just felt really I don't know I was gonna say authentic but that's I mean that's why you're a voice actor so yeah um, don't really have much else to say not really one that leaves you with like a paragraph and a half of thoughts and like wanting to dig into the gameplay or game design and stuff like that. Definitely not one that fits that sort of a vibe. So, going to hang out for just a second to make sure there's nothing after the credits and then we'll call this an episode. Because knowing this game, who knows if there's something after the credits. I kind of wouldn't put it past it. Unless it's, oh I just realized we're still hearing all the clocks and stuff from the pawn shop. Is there, um, is there, is there nothing else? Is... All right, cool. So on that note, thank you everybody for watching. Like the video if you like the video, share the video if you'd like to share the video, subscribe if you'd like to as well. That would really help me out. I have been Jacob and you have been wonderful. Thank you guys continuously, truly for, for hanging out with me. Um, even on an adventure as weird as this one. And this has been Indica. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you, Space Cowboys.